Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Gabriel Hoy signing in from, well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Uh, do apologize for the lack of video uploading or anything like that. I've got probably two years' worth of um, racing more videos and stuff I've just yet to edit. But uh, I promise I'll be uploading those soon enough to YouTube. Uh, in the meantime, this is a current update of my goings-on. Uh, I want to say today's the 18th? Yes, Saturday the 18th. And I'm at my grandparents' house right now. Going to be doing a little bit of uh, sprucing up on projects. Got my dad's little jiffy ice auger that I need have been needing to uh, fix for, oh, once again, the better part of two years now. Just been sitting in that box. Um, I drained all the gas and stuff, so I'm not worried about that, but I just never got around to working on it, so I'm going to be doing that today. Also, if I can find it, I'm going to be working on my grandfather's auger, because apparently the blades need sharpening. Um, I got my mom's cat scratching post, something I made for her, that that's going to need to be fixed, because sometime shortly after I made it, the wood decided to bow something terrible. And she doesn't want rocking. So I'm going to fix that. And then hopefully, if I have enough daylight after all that, um, I'm planning on working on the Red Murray. And getting that thing fired back up, I cannibalized that a little bit. Um, I still have all the parts. I just need to put them all back together. Still need to put a tether kill switch on that. I'll probably, if I can, I want to focus on getting that steering fixed. I never did... Uh, get that, that's the word I'm looking for, tuned in. Uh, so I want to make sure I get that done so that way I can have a fun time riding it because it is sketchy as all get out. Um, going anything past uh, mid-second gear, you just, I don't know what it is. It feels like there's not a lot of slop in the steering, but just there's something about it I don't like. It feels very on edge. So I want to make sure I can push that thing to its limits around corners. And... That's the game plan. Um, hopefully I'll have a good time today, and hopefully you'll be enjoying watching these new videos. Once again, really sorry I haven't had a chance to upload anything. As many of you know, life can be quite hectic, and that's, that's my best excuse, really. Uh, so I hope that's good enough for you, because it's good enough for me. All right, well, I'm going to get going on this, give you updates throughout the day. Until then... Gabriel Hoy, signing out. Okay, and we're back on the first update of the video. So, tore the carburetor apart, gave it a good cleaning, because Lord knows it needed it. Um, put it back together, uh, blew out the gas tank, and primed it, and I pulled it, and it went pop, and then it didn't do anything. So I primed it a little more, and pop, didn't do anything again. So it's okay. So, and I tried messing with the little adjuster screws you have underneath the carburetor. Um, now, the thing is, this guy had no plastic uh, little cover to it, and that one did. Um, now, being my dad's, something tells me either the guy he bought it from, or dad, my dad decided to uh, mess around with some things, point is, I know for a fact this plastic guy at some point must have been removed. That screw was changed, the one on the, the left, and then this was put back on because there's a, you got this little lip here you can see on the, on the thing. It only allows it to turn a half turn to the right or to the left, and that just wasn't enough. So eventually I thought, you know what, it has to be that it's just not getting enough fuel, and that must be the screw that's the issue. So I popped the thing off and ended up being about one and a quarter turns uh, too tight, so too, too lean. So I did a little more fidgeting with it after that between, because this one was still a little messed up. I'm assuming that's the, that's the high end, that's the idle. It uh, has to be, uh, judging by my tweakings around with it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But, in any event, put a new spark plug in, uh, put just a little bit of gas in the head to, you know, just give it that initial fire up, 
And uh, well, now I think she runs like a champ. Here, give me a, give me a second. Just break it here. died on me yet, so I'm just going to assume, you know, it's a cheap little two-stroke engine. You're not expecting smooth idle performance from this sort of thing. It's just designed to cut holes in ice. And uh, I'm pretty certain it'll do that now. So, first project done. Now I'll work on my grandpa's auger, see if I can't sharpen the blades, figure out what the heck's wrong with the pull start. Uh, work on the cap scratching post, just straighten the feet. This is the start of a good day. I think I might actually get the lawnmower in today. All right, hope I didn't jinx myself saying that. Catch you on the next update. All right, update on project number two, the other auger. So, the issue I was having, or, well, my dad was having, and he told me about, was you would pull on the pull start, and it, nothing would happen. Like, the rope would pull out, and then it would recoil back in, but it wouldn't turn the engine over. There was just no tension. So I took it apart, come to find out, this was the bolt that goes right in there and keeps this thing taut and in a certain position. So when you go to pull on the pull start, that little tongue comes out. Well, it was all the way over here. The tongue wouldn't come out because it was... There was nothing it could come out with, and this had dropped down so far. Um, you can see right here, <coughs> that's what was centered in the engine, and it, uh, it just it ground it away. So that's junk. Uh, and when I went to a uh, place to get the replacement parts for it, of course, they don't have any. One little screw, you'd think, but... So, in the meantime, that project is held off until uh, Wednesday. Um, so, as a temporary solution, we've got the now working engine on the auger. So, they'll be using that to go ice fishing for a little bit. And, on a side note, cat pose is done. It's not 100%, but... It... Uh, it sure as hell doesn't wobble nearly as much as I had it before. Um, all I did was I took this bottom board, spun it around, so rather than the warp going up, it went down. Uh, that lifted these feet a little bit, so I had to, then to counter it, cut away the edges of either side just a little bit. Right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think Mom will be too. So, side projects out of the way. Let's go get the lawnmower. Now, I should point out, if I'm going to be able to work on this thing, I sure as heck ain't doing it out here. And on that note, I also have got a heck of a lot of snow blowing ahead of me because we just had a nice little snowstorm, about two feet's worth. So I've got to get the red mower, which is right under here, through here, out around here. So I'm going to whip up the snow blower and uh, we'll make ourselves a trail.
All right, trail is clear. Had to expand over here a little bit and to dig out. I don't know if you noticed that before on the walk around. If I gave one, um, there was a huge mound of snow that went basically right along that way. So I had to clear all that out. Not to mention what was on top of the tarp by hand. Broke the broom in the process. Kind of stinks. Just got done snow blowing. Let's uh, let's untarp her. solid to the floor. Okay, uh, let me get some jacks. <laughs> 